All right, everybody, this is going to be the updated tutorial for the most recent stasis skip route here. So, first things first, we got to get through this room, so just kill this guy. And then we're going to grab this body, throw it into Steve to get him into the door. And then you want to throw it into him one or two more times. Hold him about here. We need him to lose his AI, and he'll try to go back to the door if it's still open. So we just get him far enough so that he's away from the door, wait for it to close, and then we can push him back up to the door. And then as soon as he... Oh, okay, he's trolling me a bit. But as soon as he stops in front of the door like that, and he stops moving, just open the door. Now, we're not done setting up this deload that we're doing, but uh, it's a little easier to grab the plasma cutter right now. You can grab it later once the level's fully deloaded, but it's... You know, harder to see where you are, so I'd recommend doing it right now. But if you forget, or if you really want to, <laughs> you can do it when it's deloaded. But this is probably going to be faster. You can either go left around him, or you can go shoot this guy to get an item. Doesn't really matter too much. Okay, so now we're going to keep setting up the deload, so we're going to open this door. I'm going to shoot Steve, so he stops holding the door open, kill that guy too. Okay, once this door closes, it deloads, so we can run back through, take a right. Now there's a door right past to this elevator dude, so I'm going to open that. Oh! <laughs> I guess you can grab the item from him then. Uh, okay, so once you've opened that door and let it close, the deload is fully set up, so we're going to run back through here without opening any more doors. And we're going to make our way all the way back to this elevator. Now, there's no collision with this elevator, but there is a trigger right in the door that loads in both the elevator wall and the elevator below. So we need to not move too slowly going out of here. So you can either uh, aim down sights and walk out, or you can just sprint out. It doesn't really matter. Uh, but you should land on this elevator down here. You can see the button. Um, so we're standing on top of the, the collision. Now we're going to walk a bit over this way, closer to where the button is. And we're going to look directly up you want to look for this part of the texture right here it's like in, kind of in line with these uh these chairs so you'll see a couple pieces of this texture here and what we're going to be lining up with is uh there's this vertical it's kind of hard to aim at it but there's this vertical line i'm kind of in line with and then there's this horizontal line right there right so there's a spot where these two meet so while i'm aiming all the way up i want to line up my middle dot basically where those two lines meet um i believe that's the, the the exact spot that waifu was aiming at when he showed this i found for me personally aiming the right dot just a little bit to the right of where those two lines meet um and i'm kind of looking at the vertical line up there like directly above this like this one i'm kind of running across i'm looking at that one to kind of line this up it's like i'm putting the dots on the horizontal line and i'm kind of trying to make my middle dot be just to the right of that horse or the vertical line. I found that makes it a little more consistent for me, but you can try it like some variations left or right here and see what works for you. But yeah, so remember we're aiming all the way up, getting that lined up. So once we do that, we're in the right position. So I'm going to flip this while aiming all the way up. I'm going to move my camera to the left and you'll see there's this sort of, well, it's going more diagonal, I suppose, but it's, it's this line right here. We're going to put the bottom dot of our cutter on the line like that. So let me do the whole thing now. So I'm going to keep this straight and put that there. So my three dots are on the horizontal line and my middle dot is just to the right of that uh, vertical line. So I'm going to flip that, go like that until the dot, the bottom dot there is on that line. Then I'm going to run off. Once his animation kind of resets like that, that's when I start pausing. This part too uh, might be different depending on how fast you mash. But so what we want to do now is we want to mash a couple times. And after two or three of these, I'm going to start scrolling my mouse. So I'm, I'm have mouse. If you haven't done a door dive like this before, you want to bind interact to scroll up or down. And you want to, I, I slide my mouse across my desk. If you've got a free scroll mouse, then just use that. But I'm going to start scrolling while also mashing interact. And there we go. We're in the boss room. 
and that's where the tripod fight is there. Um, if you want to make this a little easier to be able to see, you can back up here, let the door close and open it, but I'm going to show it off with the deload because this is a little faster. So then this is pretty much the same, but I'll show you just how to get out of the chapter here, just in case you get lost, but kill this guy. So we need to get through this door here. I don't think the locator works. No, it doesn't. Um, you could turn classic game, but if you want a visual cue, the door's like a little bit to the right of that ammo right there. It's like around there. And we need to load this door in to get the vent to load in properly so we can actually get to chapter two. Otherwise we would just skip the tripod fight with the deload. But unfortunately we can't, but there you go. So you do that and then you can get to chapter two and that's pretty much it. So hope this helps.